So how do we become new wine? What I would suggest is this first thing, is embrace the tensions in your life. Just know that in the tensions, God is going to kind of soften us, going to make us more malleable, and he's going to create a new thing in us. That's the new wine. It's a new season. And embrace that. If you're having challenges right now, either physically or emotionally or relationally, uh, financially, embrace the tension and ask God, God, what are you doing in this and what do you want me to see? Lord, produce new wine in me through this tension. Make me into new wineskins. The second thing is embrace new leadership. Embrace the new leadership of Pastor Corey Sandro and the leadership team. One thing that I saw, I'm going to go back to verse 38. It says, but new wine must be put into fresh wineskins. What I, what I saw here was that for that fresh new wineskins, we need to embrace a new style of leadership. Because in a church of this size, what I experienced was having a solo senior leader leading this big of a church with this big of staff, it just kills them. It burns them out. And so that's why we formed the leadership team. We have uh, Eric Farmer with operations and Bob. Uh, we have Bob, Pastor Bob that is in charge of our outreach and uh, does an amazing job with that. We have Pastor Seth with Family and Campus Ministries, and we have Tim Brown over our communications and worship, and we have Corey, and we've also invited uh, Betty uh, McCain to come into that because of her administrative and HR skills to help us to be a team to lead together. And it's been amazing, it's been wonderful, and it's helped us to lead more effectively, to bring unity, and to have that extra support. It's kind of like Moses with Aaron and Hur that were holding up his arms in the battle. And the last thing that we're encouraged to do is embrace new wineskins. Remember, the new wineskins is what God's doing in us. How, what is he what is he changing? Soak ourselves in the movement of the Holy Spirit in our lives through investing our time into being in the Word and praying, being in fellowship with Jesus, and just say, Lord, change me. Make me a new wineskin so that I can allow the new wine to grow within me. Because, again, be assured, the old wine is still good. The gospel never changes. We still preach Jesus and him crucified and him leading us into new life. That doesn't change. How we do it, though, is the new wine, and it may look different. It may feel different, but it's still the old wine that we're producing. 